we have reached our final destination of the day we think we are at Great Wolf Lodge, Bloomington. We uh, had to drive through the Mall of America to get here. And what? That's what I why I kept seeing like all these big shops. I, I fell asleep in the car, so I missed like most <laughs> of the car ride. We're all super tired. Had so much fun so far, but now we are about to go into Great Wolf Lodge. Our first time at a Great Wolf Lodge different than one in Colorado Springs and the, we passed the water park we'll definitely go check that out but it's just weird that we're coming up on this entrance where Colorado Springs is so themed got the wolf coming up over here we're gonna go in and see what the lobby looks like and try to check into our room welcome to Great Wolf Lodge uh, woo! Face coverings required. No weapons allowed. Check in right inside. Wow, right into the action. Great Wolf Lodge lobby. I'm assuming this is where the dance party will be later. Because we remember these. Maybe story time. The room is ready. So we are going to head up to the room, take a look. We got a room right next to our friends, so we'll be able to show two different uh, room types. So it looks like the hotel tower is lobby left, and the water park is to the right. So there's four, four elevators. of a kid's cabin suite and so we've stayed at this suite before in Colorado but it's set up a little bit different here so as soon as you walk in the door get a sink toilet and shower and we've got a closet there but what's nice is there's another sink out here as well as your coffee maker and we've got a refrigerator and microwave and I believe storage so the nice part about this, so the wall is set up to look like a log cabin. So when you walk in, we've got two sets of bunk beds. We've got a set here and a set here. And then they've also got their own TV up there. As we come back around, lots more storage here. Small table and chairs. And then we've got a queen size bed two nightstands and a chair with the ottoman. And the view is of the roof, <laughs> uh, but we get a nice view of the slides over there. And there's downtown Minneapolis as well. So I think we might even be able to see some planes landing. There's the airport right over there. So nice view. So I will be doing the room tour for our friend's room across the hallway. So they have a bunk bed suite. So bunk bed suite, so walk in the door and you've got the bathroom right here. A bathroom and a closet. And then the sink for the bathroom is out here. So that's kind of interesting. So there's no sink inside the bathroom. Hi, but the sink is out here. And then you have the mini fridge, microwave, coffee maker, and some storage, a very large TV, some storage cabinets. And you've got a table, the two chairs, like the decor, and then a queen pull-out couch, queen bed, 
and, and bunk beds over here. So the bunk beds are directly connected to, into the room. This is the bunk bed room. I'll get the exact wording of it from the website. But we got the bunk beds in the room. So this is our friend's room right across the hallway from us. We have made it to the water park. It is Thursday, September 23rd. Family tube slide is closed. Auto run slide is closed. Activity pool is closed. Water park 10 day. Here's the Lazy River. We're gonna look for our friends. So here's the towel center. One towel per guest. All towels must be returned. Google's Lodge not responsible for missing towels. We're now up in the Alberta Falls area. So this is like the level three as you're at the base of the slide. And this gives you all the different things that you need to know about the slide. So for Alberta Falls, 42 inch height requirement, one rider, maximum 250 pounds, two riders, maximum 400 pounds. Those are your instructions on how to go. So two riders, 400 pounds max. One rider, 250 for Alberta Falls. Yeah. There's the flow rider. Mason is heading out. See how he does. Hey, hey he's pretty good. Just went right to the dead zone. So I think he gets to go up and try one more time. Now Mason on try number two. He got out a little further this time. Back he goes. And away he gets watched. There's Mason again. He gets pushed to right out. He can't get far enough out. Jackson's heading out. He doesn't look too confident. There he goes. Jeez! just do not have enough weight to get them over to the middle they're riding it but they can't stay in so here goes Sarah yeah.
Sarah, how was it? Was it good? Yeah. A little scary? Yeah. Okay, here's Jordan number two. Drops in the center. <laughs> she forgot the board. <laughs> So we've been playing around for a little bit. We're down to the waterfalls now. Not quite sure she knew she was about to get hammered. Yeah. We are down in the Lazy River. Uh, again, there is no Lazy River in Colorado Springs, and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to go to this one. We're gonna have a Lazy River. We love Lazy Rivers, as you saw in Alani. So it's just kind of nice for the kids to be able to do the water slides and the wave rider, all that stuff. And we're just over in the Lazy River so far. So we did go into the wave pool. Another difference is they don't howl at this wave pool when the waves start. They just kind of start. But you can have your inner tube, so that makes the waves a little more fun. And the waves would push you uh, back into the lazy river. So it's all kind of interconnected and really nice so far. And we're just relaxing, testing things out. Uh, the kids have been grabbing the GoPro and hopping on the water slide. So really fun, not that busy. There's not a whole lot of people around. It's now, I think, a little after 6 p.m. And uh, so just having a good time. Some of the water slides are closed, but no issue yet. So we'll see what happens tomorrow when we come down. We'll see if those same slides are closed or if it rotates. But we're just going to kind of play around, show you some of the highlights, and uh, go from there. We've got a cave coming up. Hey Jack, are you back there? Um, why do I feel like I'm being set up? Why do I feel like I'm being set up? the worst that happens, I'm good with that. Uh, this is only place number one to dad. Uh -oh. So I got out of the lazy river. Just trying to look around real quick. I wanted to take a look at the safety rules. These look pretty similar to what we saw before. cabanas that are available for rental and then like a party deck or like a birthday party room or something back here and that's just off the wave pool we 
We are down in the back area now, and we're near the activity pool, which is closed. So in the back is the rope course, and there's some basketball hoops over here. So this area is closed today. Family restrooms and showers are back here. There's also buckets, incredible cravables. There's a Coke freestyle machine over here. And then oh, we'll look at the menu in a second. But Coke freestyle machine over here. Oh, and it is a hands-free like we saw at the movie theater. So that's cool. You can do a contact free point here at Great Wolf Lodge. Bacon cheeseburger, hot dog, sushi avocado sandwich, chicken strips, and kids meal. Chicken bucket looks like a ice cream dessert. Very cool options here. So here is the uh, Full we'll printed out menu. Nathan's hot dog. We have four tubes, got a couple doubles, we got kids everywhere. Just lazying around the lazy river.
where we did find that it does howl, but it howls very quietly. So we're not sure if that's because there's actual rooms with balconies, so it can't howl that loud. I don't know. There are people, as you can see, up on the balcony right above the lobby. So that's their room. So yeah, I mean, the howl happens, but it's not as loud as we've heard before. Let's ride the waves for a minute. Sitting in the tube, laying in the lake. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm in the wave pool, and the waves have stopped. They don't last very long. All right, guys, how was it? That's a long walk up there. A lot of stairs. Amazing. Yeah. But are you going to like pick your setting for uh, lighting and stuff? Lighting, yeah. But there was something wrong with the computer because it just had error on our screen because of the lighting. Yeah. But it, other than that, it was so much fun. It was amazing. Very cool. We are back awake on day number two at Great Wolf Lodge walking around the lobby and we see one of our friends out so we're gonna say hello good morning how are you violet oh good to see you wonderful day hey sir you can come say hi you can wave from a distance she's gonna hang out back there you having a good morning yep are you gonna go swimming with us later you gonna hop out there and go swimming with us no, oh yeah, no, don't want to get, don't want to mess up the makeup. <laughs> well, you have a great day. Thanks for saying hi. We have dropped the kids off at the pool. They are down running around with some of their friends. Not that busy this morning. Um, just opened at 10 a.m. and it is now 10.30. So the kids are down at the pool. They have not updated the closure sign yet. Um, some of the attractions were closed yesterday and the ride still says Thursday or the sign still says Thursday for closures so we'll see what's closed today um, again it's a big thing that we saw online the different uh, areas were closed due to staffing issues but uh, there are some still closures here room review so the room itself we, was comfortable, the beds are comfortable. <laughs> yeah, they were probably restless night, but that was for external things, not necessarily things to do with the room. The walls are pretty thin, so we did hear the neighbors a lot last night. Um, the air conditioning is very loud, and it is a single unit down the hallway. So the air gets pushed down the hallway and then over. So like, all, like if you're sitting at the table, which is right at the end of the hallway, it's very cold. But I'm over in the chair beside the bed and can't really feel it. I can definitely hear it in the background, but can't really feel it. So that's one thing. All the lights are um, wall lights or like spotlights type thing. There's no central light. There's no big light in the middle of the room. So it's all these just little lights around the room. So that made it a little rough. Made the note last night about Jen's trick with the curtains and closing the curtains to make it darker. And then I get up in the middle of the night and stub my toe on the table at the end of the bed. So that was fun. Kids said they had you know a normal night's sleep in the bunks. We could hear them rolling around a little bit. Nothing too crazy there. Um, there isn't any power outlets on the right side of the bed, um, so that made it a little hard for charging purposes and uh, plugging stuff in on the right side of the bed. And I think that's all for the room. I mean, still pretty good room, uh, plenty of counter space, so that was nice being able to spread things out. Um, there are char uh, wall outlets with that counter space. So, you know, still 
outlets to plug stuff in, but not in a great convenient location, especially for bedside stuff, uh, cell phones, watch chargers, that type of stuff. So you did have to kind of get up and go check to see what your phone was doing in the middle of the night. Jen, did I forget anything? I talked about the lights, talked about the window. Oh, that's true. Um, Great Wolf Lodge, we're here for the water park. But there's no uh, clothesline in the shower to hang up your clothes, uh, your you know wet swimsuits. So that was kind of weird. I kind of think that's almost standard these days that most showers have that clothesline for your swimsuits. But didn't have that here. So um, had stuff hanging from door handles with towels underneath it. Had things hanging from the you know or laying on the tub, just trying to dripping into the tub. So that was a little weird. Um, but I mean, still can't really complain about that too much. So overall, the room stay it, pretty good. Um, I need to do some research. I do feel like this is a converted hotel. It used to be a different branded hotel and like they added some stuff. So outside the window again, there you got the hotel tower on the left and the Great Wolf Lodge sign up there. And then this area here is the pool area. So this is like the lazy river type area. And then back in the back here, that's all the slides. So it looks like at one time this may have been like a parking lot or maybe a conference center and the slide area was just added to it. So I do feel like this is definitely a converted property um, from a different hotel. I'll look into history maybe, but so far, you know, can't complain. It was, it's been a good stay. We are checking out today, so we'll be moving out of the room and then just spending the day at the water park. We'll be checking into another hotel for the next two days, but we're gonna do some more stuff in the lobby. We're gonna do some character greening, some more tours and stuff. But as far as the room goes, we're gonna be moving our stuff out and checking out of the room at Grey Wolf Lodge, Bloomington. Heading into Buckhorn Exchange the gift shop so there is the kids section with a wall of shirts there is all the shorts there's only one that looks like it has Minnesota it's the white one all, my, all the others are not specific to this location. No, your normal tchotchkes. Oh, face masks. So there's the Great Wolf Lodge masks. That's kind of cute appropriate for the current time some socks so here's some more great wolf lodge shirts but again not general great wolf lodge not anything specific to this location oh, this one here this one, Great Wolf Lodge, Minnesota. So that'll be the one that I'm getting. The rest are just Great Wolf Lodges. And then at the end of the Buckhorn Exchange is the Build-A-Bear. And it is a fairly small Build-A-Bear, but you can get the Great Wolf Lodge clothes here. So there are specific Great Wolf Lodge outfits that are available here that you can't get other places. And that's it. All right. So outside Wiley's Water Park is the arcade area. So ski ball in the back, a bunch of interactive games. They're all card activated. So you can go over and get your cards. At the little station here is the mining company mining station We've got the ropes climbing wall behind us or the climbing wall behind us and the ropes course above us 
up on the second level. We'll go check that out later, but right now we're just kind of walking through. But so here is where you purchase your cards with your paw points. $10 gets you 36 points. $25 gets you 100 points. That's for your paw points, or there is still the Pup Pass, Paw Pass, and Wolf Pass where you get all your items together. That's your best value. It's a fun activity to do here. It's another thing to do at Great Wolf Lodge. But I had to stop because Jennifer just did something that made me laugh. She has to have the room dark. She needs to have the room dark. Well, these, these curtains would not close. She said she saw something online where you take the pant clothes hanger and use the clips to close your curtains all the way. Had to share that. That's pretty ingenious right there. Luggage carts are amazing on checkout day. They have brakes on them, so you had to hold it down to move your stuff out to the car, but that worked pretty nice. So unfortunately, the video was just really bad quality, so I'll just do a voiceover real quick. So the incident that I'm talking about in a couple of the clips is at about 12.30 in the morning, we got a phone call uh from the front desk that security had found our car in the parking lot was still running so we had went out to dinner we had done a couple errands done some running around and then when we got back i pulled the car in but pulled didn't pull far enough forward so i restarted the car pulled forward we all get out out and head back into the hotel for the night so I must have left the car running with the keys in my pocket so at 12 30 in the morning I walked down to the lobby met with security and walked out to the car to see that yes the lights in the car were still on and you could see the panel in front of the uh, steering wheel was still all lit up so the car had been running for boy, probably about three hours at that point maybe two hours at that point but luckily, no issues, didn't run a cow to gas, anything weird, battery didn't die. The car was just running in the parking lot, so that's what caused for a very long time. We're going to go ahead and call it a day here. Really hope you enjoyed this tour of Great Wolf Lodge, Bloomington, Minnesota. The real reason we went on this trip was Great Wolf Lodge. We had an awesome time, really enjoyed it. Uh, again, our second trip to a Great Wolf Lodge. We plan on doing multiple more Great Wolf Lodges. Uh, probably Colorado Springs will be next since it's the closest to us. But if you have any recommendations on the next Great Wolf Lodge that we should go visit, please leave that in the comments below and maybe we'll add that to the list of future trips. We still have plenty of more adventures for this trip to Minnesota. Please come back and stay with us. And thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day. Now for us, it's back to the rat race.